Hello there, and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Galatians 5 verse 1. It says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ had made us free, and do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. I repeat, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free, and do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. Now, I want to divide the scripture into two parts. The first part says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free. Now, what do we understand by standing fast in the liberty by which Christ has made us free? What this scripture is trying to say is stand with the liberty of Christ. Stand with the fact that you have given the word and and put yourself under the auspices of the leadership of God. Stand with the fact that Jesus is Lord. Stand with the fact that Jesus is constantly mediating for you. Stand with the fact that, that the liberty which Christ died for, that Christ suffered and got this liberty and gave it to you free of charge as a gift. Stand with the fact that, that Christ was once crucified, dead and buried, and on the third day he rose up and gave you this liberty which is in Christ. Stand fast therefore in the liberty by which Christ has made us free. And he says, and do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. I repeat, and do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. So what is this scripture saying? It's saying that if you confess the words, if you if you accept Christ as a, as a personal Lord and Savior, and you confess the words of which you put yourself under the leadership of Christ, of which you put yourself under the leadership of the person of the Holy Spirit, if you put yourself under the leadership of the person of God, our provider, if you put yourself in a position where there is self-denial, where there is long-suffering, where there is abundance in Christ, where, where there is a reward system in the worship and followership of God. If you put yourself in, in the position where you move, you are not bound by anything. You are not bound by anything. You are not bound by any single thing. But yet you are free in Christ. You are free to move about. You are free to say, what you want to say as far as it fits Christ, as far as is it's something that Christ will see and Christ will welcome you at every point in time into his bosom. Is something that Christ says, yes, my son has spoken and it is for me. It has got to do with the gospel of the person of Jesus Christ. So when we have that liberty, we are utilizing the period of grace, we are utilizing the period where grace is functional, where we begin to walk and talk and sleep and wake up in grace because we understand what Christ did for us, because we understand that through his grace, we can open our eyes and lead a new life. We understand that by his grace, we can do everything. We understand that without Christ, we can do nothing. Then it says, do not be entangled. Again, with the yoke of bondage. Do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Do not be entangled with the yoke again with the yoke of bondage. Do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Now, what does it mean to be entangled again with the yoke of bondage? Entanglement with the yoke of bondage is going back to your vomit. You have been broken away from the yoke of bondage. You now are under the followership of the person of Jesus Christ. All things are passed away and all things have become new. Your mind is being renewed. Your, your spirit, your body and soul is getting a refreshment of life which is given abundantly when you come to Christ. Your spirit is being energized. Your spirit is being refreshed. Your spirit is being given a good place of abode. Your spirit is being given life and therefore 
There is no entanglement anymore with bondage. There is no entanglement. Be it the yoke of bondage, be it the yoke of death, be it the yoke of anything that brings you in sad times and bad times, that puts you down and puts you in down times. It says that do not be entangled with any of those things because you are free in Christ. So what the scripture is also saying is that you understand your position as a child of God and do not falter and do not alter, but be steadfast and stand fast with the liberty of which Christ has made us free. Stand fast with the liberty of which Christ has set us free. Stand fast with the liberty of which Christ is today, tomorrow, and yesterday. Ultimately, stand fast with having in your mind that Christ has given us the grace, that through grace we walk, through grace we talk, through grace we reason, through grace we can sleep and wake up, through grace we can move from point A to point B, through grace we can conquer, through grace there is victory, through grace there is dominion, through grace there is claiming on territories, through grace we can wake up today and sleep tomorrow. Now I want to pray that God gives us the grace to be able to continue with this word and let it register in our spirit, man. Let it energize us. Let it make us to be able to be rich in the spirit that we ultimately may put it into practice in our everyday living. I thank you so much for listening and God bless. God bless in Jesus' name. Amen.